iLogic helps you create rules-based models. The rules are embedded as objects in your part, assembly, and drawing documents. Rules can be defined for various actions, including setting the values of parameters and activating or suppressing features. We need to create a rule that suppresses the feature on our bracket. Open the iLogic Basics Feature Suppression part in the Chapter 25 folder of the workspace. Please note that all inventor parameters and rule names are case sensitive and do not contain spaces. On the ribbon, Manage tab, iLogic panel, click Add Rule. The Rule Name dialog box appears and type the value Modify underscore Feature in the Name field and click OK. It is recommended but not necessary to name the rule without any spaces. The Edit Rule dialog box appears. In this case it is called Edit Rule colon Modify underscore Feature because this is the rule we are creating and thus editing. There are three basic areas to this dialog box. The snippet area contains a list of reusable pieces of code. The text panel is where the iLogic code is displayed and edited. The tools panel has four different tabs of tools for creating code. The model tab in the tools area gives you access to all features and parameters of a file. Select the model parameters and notice a list of model parameters appear. Select user parameters and you have a list of user defined parameters for this file. In the text area, click the if then end button, then highlight my expression in the text area by double clicking it. Double click the parameter named holes in the parameters list. Notice holes replace the highlighted text. Now type equal quote flange unquote making sure you include the quotes around the flange. Move the cursor to the blank line between the if and the and if. In the snippets area, expand features and double click is active. Notice the snippet of biologic code appears in the text area. Highlight feature name in the text area again by double clicking it. Click the Names tab, then select Flange underscore Hole in the Model Tree. Notice that Flange underscore Hole appears in the Names list. This is a list of the feature names that we use in creating code, so it can be added without typing, to help reduce possible mistakes. Double-click Flange underscore Hole, and the highlighted text is replaced. Move the cursor to the end of the line and type equal true. Don't capitalize the word true and press enter to insert a new line. Notice that true is automatically capitalized for you ensuring that you enter values correctly. Double click the is active in the feature snippet and highlight feature name. Select base underscore hole in the model tree then double click base underscore hole in the names tab. Move the cursor to the end of the line and type equals false. Then click the if then end if drop down and select else if then. Notice the line is added for you. Highlight the feature dot is active in parentheses flange hole close parentheses equals true and feature dot is active base hole equals false. Press Control C to copy the contents. Move the cursor to the line between the else if and the end if. Press Control V to paste the copied contents. Highlight the my expression in the else if line. Select user parameters in the model area, click the parameters tab and double click the parameter holes. Now type equal quote base. Make sure you include the double quotes around the word base. In the else if area, change the value of true on the flange underscore hole to false. 
and the value of false on the base underscore whole to true. Insert another else if, then, and paste the contents that you captured earlier. This time the expression is for holes to equal none, and both flange underscore hole and base underscore hole to equal false. You can pause the video so you have time to check your work. Click OK, and if the code that you have entered has mistakes or is invalid, you receive an error message at this point. Click iLogic Browser in the iLogic panel on a ribbon. Notice in the browser you should have a Modify Underscore Feature Rule. Click Parameters in the Parameters panel and change the filter to Key. Click the Less button and resize the dialog so that the bracket is viewable in the canvas. Change the value of holes to base. Notice the model updates and click Done. In the tree, click Modify Underscore Feature once to highlight the rule, then click it again to enable Edit Mode. Change the name to Whole Underscore Rule and press Enter. This makes the rule a little more descriptive. With the necessary parameters in place, you add logic to the model using rules. Rules can be defined for various actions including setting the values of parameters and activating or suppressing features.